In today's video, we discuss a tragic incident involving a diver who went to retrieve the body of another diver who had been dead in a sinkhole for 10 years. Unfortunately, the promise he made to the victim's parents about recovering their son's body landed him in serious trouble. If you want to stay informed about our upcoming videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Dave Shaw went down the Bushman's Hole in October 2004. Dave Shaw was an Australian scuba diver, technical diver, and airline pilot for Cathay Pacific beginning in 1989. He had previously flown for the Missionary Aviation Fellowship in Papua New Guinea and Tanzania before joining Cathay Pacific. He had also flown agricultural planes in New South Wales and South Australia. He was a passionate and charming man. He was devoted to his profession until his death. Dave set out to achieve a new record and push his limits during his dive in Bushman's Hole. He descended to a depth of around 900 feet and explored the bottom of the sinkhole for a few minutes. Despite experiencing some symptoms of narcosis at a depth of 800 feet, he continued on. As he approached a depth of 876 feet, he discovered something unexpected. It was the body of Dion Dreyer, who had disappeared during a dive in the same location 10 years prior. Although his mask was still in place, some of his body parts were no longer covered in flesh. Despite his efforts, Dave was unable to thoroughly examine his body as it was concealed in the mud and he couldn't retrieve it during his initial dive. After resurfacing from his 10-hour expedition, Dave informed Dion's parents, Theo and Marie, that he had discovered their son's body. Although initially incredulous, Dave assured them that he would go back to the Bushman's Hole to retrieve Dion's body. Dave and Don Shirley were two divers who undertook the deepest underwater recovery in history. They devised a complex dive plan, but due to the nature of the operation, they needed up to nine divers to assist them. There was concern that the body they were trying to recover, belonging to Dion, may have deteriorated significantly, so they decided to bring a bag to carry it in. The recovery team had all the necessary equipment prepared, and while Dave and Don were familiar with most of it, Dave was unfamiliar with the new helmet camera he wanted to use. Despite this, they were ready to proceed with the operation. Two days before the final dive, the recovery team assembled at Bushman's Hole and were assigned their respective roles. Dave was tasked with retrieving Dion's body from the depths of the sinkhole. Although he openly instructed the team to prioritize their safety and avoid risking their lives for the sake of recovering the body, he and Don secretly agreed to signal each other with their flashlights if necessary. Dave descended to a depth of 886 feet and located Dion's body intending to place it in a bag and take it to a depth of 725 feet where Don would be waiting to help bring it to the surface after a decompression period of 10 hours. However, the recovery team outside could not see anyone emerging from the sinkhole, causing Van Shake to suspect that something had gone wrong during the dive. Despite their concerns, they were unsure of the exact situation and continued to wait for news. Don, who was waiting for Dave at a depth of 725 feet, became concerned when Dave did not appear. He noticed that no bubbles were coming from the area where Dave had dived. Bubbles were supposed to be coming from Dave's ascent by this point, but there were none. Then he noticed a light in the distance, but it wasn't moving. Because of how far Dave had gone, they suspected he had been exposed to dangerous narcotics. Narcosis impairs one's ability to think, so when in this state, you must be completely focused in order to get your mind to think and solve whatever problems you are facing. Don decided to descend to the depth where Dave had dived after some time to see what was going on and how he could help. When he reached about 800 feet, he heard a very loud sound. Don's regulator controller had burst. He had to prioritize saving his own life over finding his friend. Don had to manually control his air supply as he attempted to return to the support divers above him, so they made it back to the surface. Don then informed them that Dave would be unable to return to the surface. Don nearly died there as well. He was left with approximately 8 hours of decompression and eventually permanent damage that impaired his balance. They were devastated by Dave's death, but they consoled themselves. Later, the police divers returned to Bushman's Hole to retrieve all of the equipment and dive lines left over from the failed recovery operation. While they were doing this, they noticed Dion and Dave's bodies floating up from the sinkhole's base. They were wedged in a crevice very close to the surface. The entire dive team was taken aback by this. They assumed they had dived past it without noticing it earlier. 
Van Shake stated that Dave had kept his promise to bring Dion's body back to the surface after they discovered that Dion's body was beneath Dave Shaw's body. We'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons as well as the bell icon to be notified when we post another tragic cave incident.